there is a major, major disaster coming for Bitcoin potentially that we have to talk about in today's show. And I'm going to show you the exact levels that I'm looking at. I will show you where smart money might try to scoop up a lot of Bitcoin and where we have to position ourselves. If you think that is interesting, then definitely stick around here. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, like this video and also activate the bell that you will never miss out on these important updates so and first of all i want to tell you finally tomorrow work is starting in my office here so all of this will go away and it will take a week or two to finish up everything so don't judge me for having a really ugly office with construction going on behind me so you will be actually seeing what's happening here for the next two weeks bit by bit and i'm actually gonna make uh, i think a vlog out of that that um with a time uh raffle or something how they remodel here my um, my new YouTube studio. So, but now let's talk about Bitcoin. First, we talk about the DXY. So Bitcoin is moving a little bit to the upside today because DXY is having a bad Friday, moving a little bit down here, but overall it's still in a massive uptrend here. It has broken this downward sloping resistance line that was for a couple of months um, resistance almost for a year. And that's why it's so significant that it has broken here to the upside and is keep yeah, and it's just um, going and going further to the upside. So unless this upwards, this steep upwards uh, trending line will be broken, it will just continue to rip to the to the upside. So even if the DXY starts to go here sideways and kind of um, yeah move sideways out of that trend line, in this consolidation phase, it's still possible that it will just continue to move higher. So um, the DXY is not in our favor right now for Bitcoin. And that's why a potential disaster for Bitcoin is coming. And one of the reasons for that is when we look here on the Brave New Coin chart on the BLX, a potential death cross coming in on the daily chart really, really soon. And that can be only prevented if Bitcoin would move to like, let's say $28,000 more or less. Yeah, $28,000 in the next three days. If that is not happening in the next three days, it will look really, really bad for Bitcoin. Of course, we can also get a fake out where we see something like this and uh, it comes straight back up. So that would be then potentially going into October. So, but while we are getting this fake out, I don't believe that Bitcoin is going to pump something like this here I don't think it's going to do that. And more likely what's going to happen is if we get this death cross or getting closer of getting this death cross is that the Bitcoin price comes back up here to like $27,400, uh, yeah, $27, traps all the longs that are going long after we are breaking the 200 um, moving average and then ha hammers down and then for real is hammering down here. So that is what I believe is the most likely outcome uh, what's going to happen here. So also when we look here on the 12 hourly time frame, Bitcoin is still stuck in uh, that um, demand zone and that I have pointed out here from 25,300 all the way up to 26,288. Nothing has changed there. So we have um, in the last 24, yeah, 36 hours twice tried to break out of it and twice we got rejected here insanely and smashed to the downside none out in the less we have kept the upward sloping trend line uh, but remember guys what i told you it's just a question of time if we are not breaking really soon out of that range that this will get a retest and potentially break also then to the downside here on the four hourly chart when we're looking on the shorter time frames we can see a clear range in which bitcoin is trading here with that small outlayer here um, where we broke to the upside but otherwise we see a clear range that we are, can trade right now so every time when we get close to 25,570 approximately there you can take a long position and trade this all the way up to the resistance to like $26,400 and then you can short this again to the downside stop losses are just slightly above and under each level so here to the downside, I would have maybe a steeper stop loss. I would set my stop loss potentially here at $25,300. Like 
But to the upside, you can make it a little, little bit tighter. There, I would maybe go for, yeah, like 26, 500, something like that, maximum for a stop loss. Yeah, so it's like a $100. It's really small stop loss. Um, I would not trade with super high leverage on that. I would not do like 50x, but like 20x, 10x, something like this. Uh, it's more than enough um, where you can play that range as long as we respect the range. So the the downside risk is here quite small uh, for trading the range because this can still go on for quite a while, unfortunately, um, over the next couple of days. So if you're bored, just play the range from 25,500 to 26,400. It's a small range. Uh, it's like a 3%, yeah, a little bit more than 3% range. Uh, but yeah, we have basically nothing else to do when it comes uh, to Bitcoin. And guys, don't forget, if you want to uh, trade this range, do this on Bybit. You still get $30,000 absolutely for free if you use this specific link here. Only with that link you're going to get it. And Bybit is, in my opinion, still one of the best exchanges out there. And if you want to learn how to trade professionally, then go to my website, amcrypto.us, and sign up for one of my courses or my mentorship program where I'm going to teach you everything what you need to know and the best way to position yourself as a trader for the next upcoming bull run. So on this one hourly chart, we can also clearly see that momentum is to the downside. I'm going to show you now why. First of all, we just got a rejection here for a potential golden cross. The price got also rejected uh, from the 50 moving average. So the 50 is now under the 200. If I see this correctly, is, that, is it like this? Um, yeah, uh, sorry, I was confused with the colors. So the only thing that is bullish here with all these indicators is basically the stochastic RSI um, flatlining, but that's not a good sign. The normal RSI is flatlining, the MACD is bearish, and here the, this new momentum indicator that I'm using, so that is, I think it's a free one, I'm not sure, um, that is also bearish right now with these red candles, with um, usually continuation candles in red to the downside, then at some point it will flatline here on the bottom, and then it reverses. So also here, in the short term, signs are not really good that we will see here now a massive pump back to the upside um, over the next couple hours when it comes uh, to, to Bitcoin, just um, that you keep that in mind. Here, what I can also show you otherwise here on um, the four hourly chart is the bullish divergence, divergence has still not played out. This is still in the making. Um, if we lose here this upward sloping trend line on the RSI, then this will be, of course, invalidated. Uh, but as long as we are keeping above that, there's still a chance that um, this, bear, uh, this bullish divergence will be actually playing out. Did I say bearish divergence? Of course, I meant bullish divergence. Um, but as you can see, the price can still come retest also this downward sloping trend line at $25,400, like, um, it's like a 1.5% move to the downside. Uh, yeah, so I mean, we have to keep watching what's going on with that overall. So I actually wanted to show you also the, the order book uh, because I know there's a lot of orders stacked around $26,000. That's why we are not moving higher. Uh, but I have to resolve my issues uh, with the website that I can um, see this again. And I also know that around 27, 27,700, when I looked the last time on it, are also uh, then the next resistance levels. And the underlying support is around $25,600 right now, and then 25,300 and 24 and so on. So that uh, these are the levels. And so And also there, if I could show it to you now, guys, um, I would just visualize it a little bit different. When you look at it on, on, the, on the order book, then you can clearly see that more orders now getting stacked up in the range of 25 to 24, 730. And that means that smart money knows something that we don't know because there is a big, big support uh, level or a bidding level in the order book right now. It can be spoofed. We don't know until we get there. So, but there are a lot of orders lining up right now. So, and that is for me an indication that most likely price will move first here before we see something like this. So be ready for that. And hence the title, why I believe we're going to get a small disaster. If we lose that level here, when, it, when we come down here and we lose it, 
then we have a new black swan event in, in my opinion uh, for bitcoin especially if we would drop lower than twenty three thousand dollars so be aware of that it's the weekend um, market makers like to play games on on the weekend so be vigilant but if you want to make money during the weekend then you should definitely come here into my signals channel here in my free channel so here you can see results out of our uh, trading channel over the last um, two days on unfi we caught it really really well over 200 percent in my signals channel and here lit that was just sent today they are already also 23 percent so we are making money here no matter in which direction the market is going if you want to take advantage of that also there is a link in the description in the pin comment below guys that's it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it please make sure that you smash up the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and i'll see you then again tomorrow